This video demonstrates the performance of the static Grass King negative ion generator when powered by a 12 volt DC wall wire and when powered by a 9 volt DC battery. The grass used in this demonstration is 12 millimeters long. I put it on a DIY flock box just as it comes out of the package that was compressed in the shipping process. Standing grass from a compressed pile is more difficult than that from a thin fluffy layer. I did this purposely so as to further demonstrate the power of this unit under difficult conditions. The grass is from a top quality product line preferred by many European model clubs. Their preference is based on its natural appearance, electrostatic responsiveness, and a large variety of lengths and colors. The generator has been used to make a very simple static grass applicator. The grass dispensers used will be a vegetable strainer and tea strainer. The flock box surface is the back of a pizza pan. This first sequence shows the grass responding to a vegetable strainer whose static field is the result of the generator being powered by a 12 volt DC wall wart with a 2 amp output. As, I, as soon as I turn the power on, the grass starts separating from the compressed pile and is pulled towards the strainer. The pulling power is so strong that some of the filaments of grass fly through the strainer mesh and exit the strainer top with an electrostatic charge. They fall back to the flock box surface, cling to it, and in response to the field on the strainer, stand up. So what you see here is two things. One is how well the unit pulls grass, and the other is how well grass will stand up when it is dropped from a shaker, strainer, or your fingers. Some of our customers have reported that they use, even use one of these units to apply 16 millimeter grass. And others report excellent results even when using cheap ASIN and DIY static grass. I have not verified these claims. I use only good grass and have no need for anything longer than 12 millimeter. For long reeds and stems, I use sisal fiber. And now let's look at a tea strainer whose static field is the result of the generator being powered by a 9 volt DC battery. When it comes down to it, you can hardly see any difference in the response of the grass. The tea strainer creates a more focused static field, so there are fewer flying filaments, but they are there. We encourage customers to use a battery that eliminates wires that can catch on accessories, makes the unit portable, and eliminates spurious power surges and hidden AC components in the power supply output that can overpower and burn out the generator. Customer response to this encouragement has been uniformly positive. And as a society, the response of those flying filaments can be very useful when it comes to adding grass in highly targeted areas. Below the video are several links showing that and other useful links related to using the generator and using static grass. If you have questions or would like to add something, use the comments box below. Have a good day.